Okay, hello and welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. For you of those who have been watching us for quite a while, you'll be aware of our rickety old grey bench that we've done a fair bit of work on showing tutorials. You'll notice also that it has fallen to bits from time to time. Well, it is no more. We've actually turned it into something much better. With the help of our Land Rover enthusiast Mambo Fred, We've actually managed to now have a bench and a whole wooden roof, plus strong doors on our workshop that's outside. Still plenty of work to do, as it still hasn't got sides on it properly, but it's coming together slowly. We've yet to employ the services of an electrician and rectify the uh, bodges that have been done here by myself. However, we do have lights, so we can start on tutorials again. Okay, so basically I'm going to give you the heads up on some tools, and this is a nice set from 4B4 before. We have covered a similar set like this, which is the Irwin set for removing rounded bolts, which is fantastic. You get more sockets in this set than you do with the Irwin set, because with adding a expansion pack, you'll find the price is about twice as much as this one is. You'll be seeing this in the series so keep your eyes peeled. Right, now we have a Brahma of a product which is the Oil Spy. This will tell you the condition of your oil in a 15 minute check. Instead of sending your oil off to be analysed, you can check it with the, the blotting paper. Now Oil Spy, the website link will be below with all the rest of the products that we mentioned here. Uh, this is excellent for checking for fuel contaminants, TD5 owners, water, uh, coolant in your oil, 300 TDI. So basically what you're doing, this is for petrol or a diesel engine oil analysis, drop some oil onto the paper and then wait until it's soaked in. I might have actually gone a little bit overboard with putting an oil drop on here, but basically you have a reference chart which you can then check what condition your oil is actually in. You get about 25 test papers to the box. You can get more. That works out about 50 pence each for one of these test papers, which makes it extremely inexpensive to test your oil. This test here is off my mother's car, which hasn't had the oil change for two years. She's done about 400 miles in it. What I'm looking for is a sludge deposit. It looks actually as though it is on its way to wanting an oil change about now. Check out their website. There is also a PDF which you can browse through and see how this blotting paper works. Basically, it will show up diesel in the oil and it will show up coolant in the oil. So this is excellent for you TD5 owners that have your injector seals go or you guys with the 300 TDI head gaskets. Right, so our project, you've probably seen it. We've used some primer to cover up the areas, which is bare steel and rust. And we've also dabbled in painting some of our equipment as well. Buzzworld, which supplies the automotive or advanced automotive paint solutions, they also have a grey primer, which is a lot less expensive, or Oxide X. Now, we're investing in using their stuff because it is actually advanced formulas for corrosion protection. This may interest you uh, quite sincerely because this is a chassis all-in-one single-pack paint which has some very good details. If you stop and read this, you'll probably realise that it's uh, for somebody like ourselves, which wants a quick drying paint. It also has self-leafing glass flake for abrasion resistance. Seen here on an axle which we painted, which was rusty, it has a um, OEM matte type finish compared to chassis black, which is highly gloss. This actually looks quite good. Compared to this, which probably was left in the Thames for quite a while, the corrosion has gone too far on this axle casing to make it uh, worthwhile to restore. Right, so I would advise you go and have a look on Buzzworld's website and read some of the technical information about their paints, because the, the amount of detail we can't cover in this video... I'm using the primers quite a lot for um, covering up rust or bare metal. And you see the axle casing here. I'm leaving as a test piece. 
Okay, so Buzzweld, they do rust stabilizing primers, paints, etc. But also they do other products like CCI355, which is a corrosion inhibiting grease. Now, I'd be highly skeptical using this on wheel bearings. However, it does have its uses. This is an anti-fretting paste, which I use for work for stopping wheel bearings seizing or rusting onto stub axles. You'll find if you're wading, you'll have water get into the hub, whatever. So there's a chance that the bearing will actually rust to the stub axle, unless your wheel bearings are too loose. Generally, we would just grease wheel bearings with something like EP2 or multi-purpose grease. However, when we have things like this, which can corrode and rust the clutch into place if stood a long time, then this stuff is pretty good. Right, so what I'm going to do is offer a challenge up here for people to list the possible uses of this grease. I think it's a pretty damn good idea to have a corrosion inhibitor in it. Okay, so the next product we have are relay testers. Yeah, I know you could probably do it one way or another, but these are very good pieces of equipment which you can find on eBay under relay testing equipment. So you have your four pin and you have a five pin version of these with your numbers and each one of these pins you can check with a multimeter. Okay, so there's your five pin changeover relay configuration. All right, so basically there you go. There's your pin numbers and the pins you can take your test from. Okay, so we have our workshop Christmas tree, which is just a loom draped over and hung up at the moment you can plug it in and put your relay in and then test it from these pins to see what power you have there which is easy okay so one last thing i've been using the vantage ultra with the hawkeye pro on a td5 the hawkeye pro is actually working very very well it's doing what we need to um, the vantage ultra which is a very posh multimeter which has lab scopes will also show us things like pulse width modulation and pulses from injectors for instance which is pretty good i'm not going to show you here but i will say that in the future once we've finished our project we'll be getting on to diagnostics vantage pro obviously is from snap-on so i will not quote the price 